at this moment you cannot see me. And that's almost the theme of the story we are about to bring you. A tremendously exciting story. I'll tell you now that this story is fiction. It did not happen. But the big question is, could it have happened? Because our senses do not perceive certain things, does not mean they do not exist. I tried skateboarding because uh, two Australian kids moved in near me and I just thought it was, you know, cooler than, you know, hanging around, you're doing nothing, basically, so I got into that, I got ripped for it as well. Right, I started skateboarding, I think, I don't know, about 13 or 14 years ago, and I don't know why, I've seen some dudes on the street fucking skating, so. Because these two Aussie kids, you know what I mean, they weren't really skateboarding, it wasn't really a thing around where I lived. Well, they were good. Well, I'd say they were good. They were, they were amazing to me because it was yeah. the first skateboarding I'd ever seen in the flesh. Do you know what I mean? So, I can I swear? Yeah. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> well, I've seen some dudes like skating, and I really liked it, and then got bored. Actually, my grandma got got me bored. Started skating and skating since then. Sick. Yeah, yeah. It was it was sick. It was absolutely it's a new thing. So I just thought what to do is just learn that. Uh, yeah, sort of, yeah. Yeah, just um, started going started going street skating, going over to crew and meeting up with Tony De Silva and all them lot. For an average Joe on the street, either buzzes off skating, doesn't really know what to think about it or hates it. Whether it being some idiot bumped into the back of them years ago, or, or you know, yeah, I think it's all on what they see. They see someone falling over, just think, oh, look at him. But if they actually, you know, I've got a lot of mates who are, you know, never liked skateboarding, but when they go out skating, they come watch me. They're like, oh, do you know what I mean? They just see people fall over yeah. a lot of the time, or boards shoot off, and it's all perception, isn't it? But yeah, it's just general perception, and I think it's yeah. whatever people's. Whatever that's happened to them, the board hit them in the ankle. Have they seen someone do a sick trick, or have they never seen it in the flesh? Yeah. Just seen it on TV, or seen the Tony Hawk computer game. Yeah. Skateboard is just you and a piece of wood. So it's you know you got no one else to play, no one else to kick off with apart from you and your skateboard. So that's what I liked about it. You ain't got ten other idiots running around the pitch. You yeah. just got you and you, your red. And then no coach to like shouting at you to tell you what to do. That's it, and it's just your mates, isn't it? You know, if you're out with your mates, you got mates shouting to buzz you on to do stuff. But that's why I told skate because it's just you, and it's you know, it's like a release. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't start in Manchester, but uh, I've met like Eddie Belvedere and Stu Reynolds in Prague, although they were over back home in Czech. So just they just said come over if you're keen. So I did, and I'm here. And it's just sick, like so because of them too, probably. Yeah. Hey, what do you think of Manchester as a skate? Oh, it's place. got really good skate scene. Like got loads of good people. Don't know. Black Sheep's hooking it up. It's really good, man. Yeah, some good parks as well. Loads of good street spots. Yeah, really good. Yeah. I demand more money. I don't want two million! I want three million! Well, if that's the way it's gonna be, that's the way it's gonna be! Not yet, not yet. <laughs>